airport. Number 567. Number 166. Number 268. What are we doing, boys? We're flying first class. Like, we're also gonna climb, like, hike up to a mountain and do snowflex skiing and rock climbing. It's gonna be really Look fun. forward to it, Ethan? Yeah. So, Mike over there. Mike is, was so generous and paid for uh, Justin, Ethan, and I to, to do this. So, we're super grateful. So, this is the first time I've ever flown, flown first class. So this is gonna be pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. All right, I'm lying here in my first class seat. It's so comfy. Okay, we landed here in Chicago. I thought we were going to Orlando for some reason. Anyways, had that mixed up. And our flight was delayed like an hour getting out of that gate. So we had to run like all the way from like, I don't know, C to E here in Chicago. And it's like a long ways. So I think they're holding the flight for like 12 people. So we're almost at the gate now. F-23. All right, we made it to Lynchburg, Virginia. We're gonna go into this wasabi grill. I am excited. I don't even think I really told you what we're doing here or what's going on, but I just got to tell you, we came here, um, a good friend of ours, Mike uh, Rosas, actually brought Justin and Ethan and I here to this Liberty University because there's a men's conference, like I mentioned, but uh, he's just giving us the VIP treatment. We went to a concert tonight. Um, I've, there's so many things I can't even, I don't even know what all he has planned, but this is really an amazing university. I'm really so different from the lifestyle that I grew up in, but it's very unique and it's another expression of, uh, you know, just another expression of, of the arts and, and everything. It's so cool. But behind me, there's a tower right here and they have that lit up uh, with the Ukrainian flag uh, as I'm thinking of the Ukrainian people. But anyways, we're gonna be here, uh, staying here for about, um, we flew in on a Thursday and we're staying uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and flying home Monday. So. We're gonna get a VIP tour tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go to King and Country concert, and just it's gonna be great. Um, we're just really excited. So I just wanted to give you a little heads up what we were doing, and uh, now we're gonna head to the hotel and uh, get a good night's sleep because we got up at 3:30 this morning to catch the plane, and um, so that's what we're doing. Well, we're getting a grand tour of this whole place, and right now we're in the uh, football practice so we're we got a VIP uh, pass as you can see right here a VIP pass here and uh, they been they took us all through this uh, whole football I don't know facility I guess I'm I've never I didn't grow up with football that was my background but I'm kind of enjoying it it's actually pretty cool to see everything I really enjoy seeing how everything's you know well done and and uh, top quality so we're taking a tour and just look at this in one of these um, showcases they have actual D.L. Moody's uh, Bible from his own handwriting here which is pretty cool if you've ever followed he was one of the great evangelists so here they took us all the way up to the top of uh, one of their towers and there you can see the Blue Ridge Mountains in the distance yeah it's just crazy a lot of this stuff is it's all um, all part of their 
campus and stuff. It's pretty amazing. A lot of these buildings, it's just everything that they have. They have a ski slope up there on top. All the way up, that's a ski slope up there that we're gonna actually go to later. Yeah, just, it's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. So here we're going through their library. This is a robotic book retrieval machine. It pulls out the books, I guess, and grabs them. We're gonna watch it in operation here. That's incredible. So it saves a lot of space. We do have books over here on the shelves, but so you understand they know where each book is coded. They pull the shelf out, go up to that red light, and they put it in a little slot over there or something. Yes, yes. Okay. Bring it up to the red light, bring it to you. Now we're going into this thing called Convo and King and Country are gonna perform. Pretty wild. through the equestrians into the equestrian center which is really cool excited to see what's going on up here how many acres we got up here mike i think there's about 500 and something in this equestrian center here they've got an outdoor arena an indoor arena quite the setup i must say <laughs> All right, check out this barn. Hey, sugar. I think they would rather be outside. They're sticking their heads out. So here we're in the School of Cinematology and they have like a newspaper in here. They have a radio station and here these ladies are actually literally right now on the radio but they're doing whatever they're doing, which is pretty cool. That's really interesting to me. Looks like a fun job. <laughs> Here they've got some sculptures that are literally made out of wrapping paper and like uh, shipping paper. That is pretty cool. <laughs> so here we're in another part of the building and look at all this exercise equipment this is just for the students just to use it whenever they want this is pretty crazy this tiny little area right here is just for the students to play basketball whenever they want I and mean, it's, it's really tiny it's only like half an acre or so oh here's another part over here this is only like a quarter acre this place is just massive now we're at a place where they're uh, actually doing some gymnastics. Pretty cool. I guess we get to do rock climbing after all, so we're gonna do this climb real quick. I 
This is a pretty sweet climbing area. Okay, here's their small ice skating rink. That's uh, like a pro ice skating field, I guess. Yeah. And they have the number one, uh, yeah, not ice skating, hockey. They have the number one women's hockey, I guess, in the nation right now. Pretty amazing. Well, they just started practicing out here just as we got here. So now we're here at the conference, and this is pretty neat. They have a um, free onboard ultrasound pregnancy testing here that people can go in if they want to, and it's just a blessing for whoever wants to use it, I guess. They drive around and pregnancy resource van. Okay, we're here in this conference now. There's like thousands of men here. is over and we're back at the pool here. Justin's gonna take a dive. Hey good morning. I just wanted to give you a bit of a recap on what's happening and a little bit more maybe about this trip and what we're doing here. Um, as you know I mentioned that uh, a friend of ours Mike um, brought Priscilla, uh, Justin, Ethan and I on this um, trip to Liberty University and and I thought I'd just share a little bit what we've been doing a little bit more. I know I, I shared little snippets and it might not really make sense because it's it was kind of, I, you know, grab things here and there and but uh, we came in on a Thursday and uh, Friday we basically just toured the whole campus and took a VIP tour of everything which was really cool. Really impressed with the amazing everything state of the art is really cool. Really enjoyed their music. Uh, that they have there and uh but anyways so that was friday and then uh on uh friday evening we had the first session and then um saturday we had uh all day saturday we had more sessions we had a couple breakout sessions one breakout session we went and ta uh, talked to a guy that our guy spoke about alaska about how he's a lodge in alaska and of course that was really interesting to us uh as we're preparing to move there and then uh, also we uh, went to another breakout class where they talked about bow hunting. So this was a called Ignite Men's Conference. This was about bringing God, uh, men, and the outdoors together. So that was it was pretty cool. Really enjoyed it. Met a lot of really cool people. Um, and I'm just going to show you a video of this next uh, right now after I'm done speaking here real quick about what happened last night. And, you know, um, I think one of the most important things that we can do as men is to be real men, be masculine, and, and be real men, but to have... Um, but we need a power that's not our own, right? We need to get a power from somebody, something that's higher, and that's our Heavenly Father. And 
I just want to show you that um, a lot of men turn their lives to the to turn their hearts and their lives over to the Lord this weekend. It was really powerful. And watch this scene as these men uh, go forward and and rededicate their lives and re repent in front uh, in front of Him at the altar. Um, you know, in front of the church, they're kneeling down and just giving their lives over to God and saying, you, you can have it all. And I think that's where we need to come as America. We, America needs to come to that place. You know, we all want, want revival. We all want things to continue, you know, in a, in a fashion where we can live our lives comfortably. And, and uh, we don't know what, Amer what it's going to be like, but I just want to encourage all of us that we need to always be ready. I want to just encourage you to be ready. And if you don't know if you're ready, um, you, can, you can. You can know that. The Bible says that we can uh, fully know and believe uh, in our hearts. And all we have to do is just, just say, Lord, I'm here and speak to me. I, I repent of my sins. I want to follow you fully. And he will do that. Uh, he just says, ask. That's all that we have to do is ask and turn our lives over to him. And he will completely um, you know, take us on that journey that's an amazing, radical journey of, of joy and peace and uh, in this life. So it's, we have to do life regardless, so let's do it with him. Um, but you can see it's, it was really awesome. That's where I think we need to come to. I just wanted to make a mention of that this morning. Come to as uh, America. We need to, we're going to have to, if we want revival to sweep, if we want things to change, and it really goes for all countries, but my heart is for America, then we have to repent. Something's going to have to happen where we're going to have to repent and turn our hearts. America is, no, is living in a post-truth society. All we have to do is look at the news, and, and it's perverted. Um, there's not much truth. Uh, in the major, all the major networks are basically polluted, <clears throat> mainly, and there's not a whole lot of truth out there. I mean, there's some, and not, I don't want to put everybody in a basket, but we're just living in a society where America needs to turn to the Lord. That's how I really strongly feel, and uh, it starts with me, and it starts with you, right? It's not somebody else, it's us, so um, I just want to have a humble heart before God and myself and invite you to join us <clears throat> in this journey. Um, so, Thank you for hearing that, and I appreciate that so much. We appreciate all you guys watching. Uh, and then I just wanted to give you a quick update what we're going to do today. We're going to go to church uh, here, and close. there's a church here in Liberty where the conference was at yesterday. And uh, Mike, which brought us, has a good friend, um, a young family. I think they're about our age, and they lead worship there. So we're going to meet them after lunch, and that's I'm looking forward to that because Priscilla and I lead worship as well in our church. And so to make that connection, I met him briefly yesterday, and... Looking forward to having church uh, lunch with them, uh, and then we're going to go on a hike. There's a it's called Sharp Top Mountain close by here. It's about I think three point three mile hike. Looking forward to that. Then we're going to go uh, to another friend of Mike's that builds instruments, and he's like a musician. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. And then later this evening, uh, we're going to go on the Liberty Snowflex uh, skiing, where they actually have a course uh, that you can ski on but there's no snow. It's made out of like this carpet stuff. So anyways, the boys are really looking forward to that. So it's going to be a good day. It's beautiful. Yesterday it snowed and it was windy. It's a chilly 20 degrees this morning here, but it's supposed to warm up to 50. It's a beautiful blue sky day and it's a, uh, yeah, just glorious. So anyways, wanted to bring you along, uh, just getting ready to take off for church here and uh, just kind of wanted to give you an update. So here we go. sharp top that we're going to be hiking up. Looks pretty sharp. So we're way up here on the, just driving up towards this mountain and right here is the Blue Ridge Parkway. That's pretty cool. Winding up and up and up. Okay, here we're at the sharp top store. Some ancient little building up here. And uh, we're going to take this hiking trail now up to sharp top. We had uh, breakfast, or lunch I should say, at the uh, Cracker Barrel with the friends of Mike's and got to know him a little bit better. It was really cool. Now we drove up about 45 minutes or so and to this old building here and this trail goes up to the top of this mountain. So looking forward to hiking up here and checking this out. So it's a little cool day, but it's beautiful. 
Well, we're heading up this way now and we've gone probably half a mile. And the trail just kind of winds through the side of this mountain, which is pretty neat. Neat little trail. Not much to see yet for a view, but probably when we get up there a little bit more. Pretty nice through here. Excited to see what it's gonna look like on top. Hey, hey, we're almost to the top. You can see it up there. Those rocks sticking out. And we're not there yet, but there's a pretty cool view down there. Love it. And we're here, an old building up here of some sort, which is pretty cool. Huh. An old fireplace. That's quite a deal. This was quite a view. Elevation 3875 once thought to be Virginia's highest peak. I guess it's not anymore. And there's the moon way out there. Wow. Wow. This is a view. Wow. This is so cool. This is really neat. I love this. How'd they get concrete up here? This is weird. Wow. This is sweet. Virginia's got some mountains, hills or something. And this is the very tip top right here. All right, Justin, stand on the very tip top, tip top. As high as you can go here. There you are. Whoa. This is neat. That's Virginia right there. We conquered the hill. Mike, what are we doing now? Well, we're doing the Liberty Snow Flex, which is a year-round ski uh, facility on the campus that the students can use, as well as the local community. So we're gonna see how these guys can handle either downhill skis or snowboard. And there's a tubing run as well. Justin and Ethan are pretty excited about this. This will be the first time we're skiing without snow, which is gonna be unique to say the least. Well, we're up here at the ski slope, and unfortunately they closed at 7, and we got here about 7.15. But they were so kind, they said they would keep it open just for the boys for another hour. So that is really, really special. We really appreciate that. And uh, look at this, the sun going down. That's just really cool. We're here in Virginia. Virginia's pretty cool. And you can actually see this mountain. That's Sharp Top, where we were earlier today. Climb that one getting their gear together. These two boys right here made it happen for us. It's awesome. Thank you guys. No problem, no problem. All right, they're gonna get on this belt and just kind of walk up there, I guess. Oh, I'm from Louisiana. Okay. Once you stick to that left side of the hill, you'll get some speed. You'll come off, bitch. Yeah! Oh. 
That is beautiful. Well, Justin, Ethan, did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit different than uh, skiing on snow, right? Yeah. Well, but if you live in Virginia, there is no snow, hardly to speak of. It's pretty cool. Well, we're going to go have some dinner, man. It was, it's been awesome. Mike really blessed us with everything. This is great. Enjoyed the day. Well, we're back flying home now, and uh, we flew from, uh, where do we go? Yeah, Roanoke to Chicago, then Chicago to Steamboat Springs, and now Steamboat Springs to Denver. Now we're gonna go fly home to Kalispell. Then we gotta drive home an hour and a half. So we're at McDonald's here in Denver, and our buddy's here calling out numbers again. Okay, we gotta get this train, catch it, uh, go to A-Gate.